A bank account cleaned out of $276,000, and nobody found out until it was too late. We wanted to find out more about how something like this happens, and now we're getting answers. KHON2 was the first to tell you about the theft on Tuesday. The money was transferred electronically from the Kukui Plaza Condo Association's account, and we asked the experts how something like this can happen and what other associations can do to protect their homeowners' money. Manolo Morales has been digging deeper. Manolo? Joe, the association does not want to reveal too many details as to how it happened because it is still under investigation. But I spoke with a cybersecurity expert from the American Bankers Association. He tells me all it takes is one false click on your computer and you can easily become a victim of theft. The association told homeowners that the $276,000 was stolen from an account at American Savings Bank. And during its board meeting Wednesday night, they were also told that the money was stolen in May and it was done in three separate transfers. So why did it take six months to notify the homeowners? I spoke with the general manager of the building and he tells me the company wanted the investigation to run its course and gather as much information as possible before releasing the information. The general manager tells me that the association is still trying to figure out ways of getting that money back from the bank. Either way though, he says homeowners will not be charged a special assessment because of the theft. The cybersecurity expert from American Bankers Association tells me Thieves prey on business accounts regularly by sending an email enticing the victim to click on a link. It may be a business email saying they click here for an invoice, for instance, um, or something that's, that would not be unusual for the company to receive. Once you click onto that link, malicious software can take over the computer and is able to access the password and log in to the bank account. The employee tried to get in the bank website. Um, they got a screen that said, system down, please try again later. Um, and what has happened in the background is now the criminals have access to, to the account. I asked Johnson what precautions businesses should take. He recommends having dual authorization for all transactions. That means two people need to sign off each time money is moved from the account. Having a computer that's strictly for banking and no emails. Keeping the antivirus software updated and monitor the accounts daily and check for anything unusual. I also spoke with a real estate attorney who tells me it's good to have some notification when a transaction reaches above a certain amount. Oftentimes there are amounts on uh, limits on what somebody can sign for, yes, without getting some sort of special approval from the board or, or committee or something like that. I also reached out to American Savings Bank to see what's being done to try to recover the money. I've called and emailed for the past three days, and there's been no response. Manolo Morales, KHON, 2 News.